Hi guys, it's your girl Bougie Bree. Um, what I'm doing today is I am going to go through some um, palettes that I'm selling. And I'm going to talk about why I'm selling them, if they're good, bad, ugly, and different. Um, and uh, yeah. And you don't, don't, please don't feel like you have to buy them. That's not really what this is about because they'll get sold regardless. But I just want to show you like some things that I have and why I'm getting rid of, getting rid of, getting rid of them. I do speak English. At this moment, including everything here, I have 757 eyeshadow palettes. Yes. Okay, so let's move past that. So let's talk about what I'm getting rid of and why. The first one that's got to go has nothing to do with the palette itself. The brand actually sent me two. So, um, when I ordered it. This is the Clara Cosmetics Pro Palette. Um, I think this is an Australian brand. Um, it's a warm tone palette, but I have two of them and I don't need two. So this is going to be sold. It's brand new. Haven't even swatched it. So, okay. So then these two are going to be sold together. This is an Inglot palette with some cool tone shades. Excellent condition. Very good shadows. I just am not going to use it. Like it's not something I'm going to be using. This is a Tarte palette. Excellent condition, beautiful shades, great pigmentation, but I have like 30 Tarte palettes, so I don't need this, so it's going to be sold. Those will be sold together, and let's reach over here. If I'm sniffling, I'm sorry, I have really bad allergies. This is the Wild palette from Face Candy, and I have to say, this is like a really pretty um, packaging. This is a dupe of the Saint and Sinner palette from Kat Von D, which I own, so I don't need it. So, um, and I actually bought this not knowing that this was a dupe, because I don't pay attention apparently to what I buy. And so, um, and the pigmentation on that one is really great. This is the Fantasia palette, which is a dupe for the Tropics palette from Natana, N Natasha Denona, which you know I have. It hasn't been touched. It's in great condition, so I'm going to get rid of that. And I think these were 15 each. I'm not sure. That's how much I paid for them. That's not how much I'm going to sell them for. Um, the prices will be reasonable. This is the Disco Fever from Face Candy. That it'll be sold in this bundle that I'm talking about right now. This is a dupe of the Chocolate Gold by Too Faced, which I own, so I don't need this. So it's excellent pigmentation. I just don't need it. So that's that. Let's pull these right here. This is the Estee Edit the Gritty palette, which is no longer available. It's really pretty. I'm going to swap some of these for you guys. I mean, they're just stunning shades. But if I'm honest, where is my hand? There it is. If I'm honest, I have these shades a thousand times over, and I don't really need it. That'll be sold by itself. Then I have the drenched metals from Violet Voss. I love this palette, as you can see. I really went in on it and got a lot of use out of it. I'm going to swatch some of these for you. Congrats baby wipes. One of my favorite shades um, is I'm So Fancy, but I have this shadow in a um, Makeup Forever shadow that I have. I also like Dark Desires. Also, I have in a Makeup Forever shadow. Let's see if I can get this to show. So I have those shadows. This is really excellent pigmentation. There's only, I think, like one matte, two mattes in it. But it's a great palette, so I will be getting rid of that. Okay, and then over here is this Becca. This is the Ocean Jewels palette. Um, I want to like this palette, but I'm not really into it, so to speak. I mean, it's pretty. Like, this shade right here is really pretty. This shade, ooh, that makes me want to keep it. Damn. Can you see that? It makes me want to keep it, but I'm just not going to use it. Oh man, I was going to get rid of this one. Now I'm kind of second guessing myself. Let me look at this white shade. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to put this to the side. I might have lied about selling that. So, I don't know. I'm not ready. It's okay. It's okay. If I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And then these three are going to be sold in a blush highlighter bundle. This is the Blush and Glow number one from Perfusion. Hasn't even been swatched. Excuse me again. This is the Revolution blush palette in goddess haven't used this i've had this forever and then 
This one is the Revolution uh, Makeup in Pro HD Amplified Baked. These are like highlighters and bronzers and blushes. These are really pretty. The only one I've swatched is this one that was beautiful. So that'll be sold in a bundle. Okay, so let's move up a little bit. Okay. All right. Ooh, sorry guys. All right, that's probably better if I do it this way. Let's see. Let's glue you guys back. There we go. Okay, these will all be sold in a bundle together. This is the TZ Cosmetics Twilight Eyeshadow Palette. I've kept this for a long time, thinking I'm going to use it. I'm not. I need to just get real. I have shades like this. I'm not going to use it. So that's one part of that bundle. Then this one I really like. This is the C Color Unisex 1. I really enjoyed this palette. I'm thinking I might keep it, but I'm going to say that I'm going to go ahead and let it go. I don't think I have a palette like this. I have to, okay, that's, I'm going to put that to the side. But this will definitely be in the um, bundle. This is the Velvet Rose from Makeup Revolution. That will be in that bundle. Also, the Midnight Affair. Woo! Look at that. Did you see? I caught you guys. Did you see that? I'm quick. Okay, let me see. Hold on. Let me bring you guys down a little bit. The camera's too heavy. Okay, let's bring you guys down there. That's better. That's better. Okay. There we go. Sorry, guys. Then this is the Midnight Affair from BH Cosmetic. I've only swatched that purple shade that you're about to see. It's a really pretty palette. I don't need it. I have a thousand purple shades. So this can go. That'll go in the bundle that I'm talking about right now. And then the BH Marvicorn. Is that how you say it? Magnificent. Um, I haven't used this. That will go in that bundle. So... And honestly, you know, nothing's wrong with any of these palettes. I just don't really need them. They don't really serve a purpose. Okay, let's pull these two. These two I'm going to clean up because they're a bit dirty. Um, this is the shade and light eye matte, which um, I love. And I have another one of it. So um, I might as well get rid of this one. This is the shade and light eye. I've used this one, you can see. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a great palette, but I have a backup and um, I want to break into that one. This one is going to need a little bit of love because it's a little dirty. Oh gosh, let me see if I can just clean it up really quick. Okay, yeah, it's really glittery. This is the shade in Light Glimmer. And I have a backup of that, and so I'm going to sell those as a bundle. The next three I'm selling as a bundle as well. This one is brand new. This is the UD Light Beam. Nothing wrong with it. I have two of them. So there's nothing wrong with that one. I just, I have two. And I don't know, don't ask me why I have backups when I have over 700 palettes. I know that's ass mine. Don't worry about it. It's really nothing for you to be worried about. This is the Urban Decay uh, After Dark. I have two of these, so I'm going to try to get rid of this one. That's going to be in the bundle. And then this is the Urban Decay Electric. I have two of these, so I'm going to break into the new one. So that'll all be in one bundle. Then this one is Skin by Dimitri James. This is the Color Affair. These are really good. I never use them on my eyes, but I'm just not going to use this. It's very cool tone, very pretty, but I'm not going to use it. So, and that's okay. They're pretty. I mean, they're pretty. They look like they would be good for travel, and etc. This is the Bronze Goddess by Dimitri James. This is really pretty. Beautiful blush, highlighter, etc. I'm not going to use it. Then this is the uh, uh, the Balm Custom Palette. It's a custom palette by the Balm. I'll swatch some of these for you. I'm not going to use these. Let me make sure my hand is it's really glittery. Um, I'm just not going to use these. Like I can, I can tell I know myself. They're good quality. There's nothing wrong with them. Let me see. Those are excellent swatches. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I'm not going to use it. Oh, I'm considering keeping this. Oh, goodness. I'm going to put it to the side. Because I've actually really never swatched that. So, that was impressive considering that I'm not a big fan of the bomb. Okay. These three... Um, are Reina Reb Bolde, I think. 
I don't know. This is a brand that comes out of Target. It's a Latina owned brand. Look at that packaging. It's gorgeous. And these are the shadows. There's three of these. They'll be in a bundle. There, there's nothing wrong with these either. I will say this: the pigmentation, the in the you know the impact is not what I like, but they're good. They're very good. I think these were twenty bucks each, and I've only swatched the hell out of them a thousand times. I've never actually used them on my eyes. This is really pretty. I like this one a lot. I wanted to keep this one, but I'm not going to use it. Okay. So then these right here, this next group, this is Naked Cosmetics. What is this one called? I cannot remember. Naked Cosmetics, this trio. Now, if you haven't seen this trio, you live under a rock. It's goddamn gorgeous. It's so be Oh my god. Shit, Brie. Don't swatch this one. Oh my god. Oh my god, that makes me want to keep it, but I'm not going to because I will never use it. Okay, that's okay. Then I'm going to get rid of the Morphe 3B. Great palette, nothing wrong with it. This is the Morphe 3A, which I actually would keep, but I don't need to. And I'm going to get rid of the It Naturally Pretty, um, I don't know which one this is. I just recently got this, but I don't need it. Kind of purpley plum shades. Okay, that's that. Then let's do some drugstore. This is the Magical Forest by Essence. Oops, sorry. Really pretty shades. Let me swatch them because you'd be surprised. They actually have some decent pigment to them. They definitely can be built up. Or if you're the type of person that doesn't like, you know, extreme pigmentation, this is perfect for you. Um, where's the other one? Okay. They're really pretty. Nothing wrong with them. I just don't need them for the thousandth time. Then this one is the moon. What is this called? Be Kissed, Be Kissed by the Moon. This is really pretty. It's highlighter and eyeshadows. Then this one looks like something broke in here. I'm going to have to clean this one up. This is Vital Brights from Milani. I'm not going to use that. And I was kind of disappointed with Gilded Desires. It swatches really good, but the application on the eyes is really difficult. Like this, I, it's so pretty, but it, the application is such a pain for me. Like, can you see those? Those are gorgeous, but it, uh, working with it was not pleasant. So those are going to all go. Then this, these three are in a bundle. This is uh, a more us. This is uh, shine bright. I haven't even used this. Then this is Esmeralda by Beauty Creations. I haven't used this one either. It's very grungy, which I dig, but I have a thousand grungy palettes. I did keep the Esmeralda too, and this is Steam by NYX, which I dig too, but I, I don't need it. Just because I like something doesn't mean I need it, you know? Okay, now, oh, I don't like the position I'm in. Okay, these palettes I actually really, really love, but I don't need them. Oh shit, I wanna keep these so bad. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready. Uh, let me see. This is the Ofra Radiant Eyes. Let me show you. Let me show you why. I've bought Ofra palettes and been so disappointed. But these two are remarkable. And they're so good. Jesus, I don't know if I can get rid of this. I don't know if I'm ready. This is ridiculous. Jesus Christ. And this is the um, Smoky Eyes, which is also... I'm keeping these two. No, no, no. I'm keeping it. I'm done. That's it. That's it. I can, but I am getting rid of this. That was hard, but... I'm sorry. I want to keep my shit. This is the Gilded Greens from Makeup Atelier. These are gorgeous, but I have a thousand green shades, and I don't need it. So this will be sold by itself. Man, I can't believe I took those back. I've been back and forth about whether I should keep those or not. I will be getting rid of the Basic Bitch from MAC, which I also have not used. I've swatched it, but um, I've come to see that I don't really like MAC shadows. This is Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, the Smoked Out palette, which will be sold with the Basic Bitch. There's nothing wrong with this palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. The pigmentation is unbelievable. It blends well. I'm just not going to use it. So let's just go ahead and let somebody else have it. Okay, so those will be sold together. Then I have the Japanese. 
pixelated color eyeshadow palette. This is really pretty. I really want to keep it. But let me see. I just don't think I'll use it. Oh, I need to stop swatching. It's ruining my life. Okay, I'm keeping it. Jesus Christ. This is, I went through all of them, so I wouldn't do this. Okay, I decided I'm going to keep that one, and that's okay. <sighs> it's my stuff, right? So if I'm not ready to get rid of it, that's what it is. Okay. Then I am getting rid of the Life's a Festival by Too Faced. I've used it one time. It's pretty. I like it, but I don't need it. And it comes in the box with the little lookbook. So that'll be good for somebody. Then this is also tough for me because I love this brand. Um, these two will be sold together. This is La Rock. This is um, Refined Romance. This is a great like weekend palette. Shadows, blush, luminizers. And then it's sister or brother palette, depending on how you look at things. This is Enchanting Elegance. This is the cool term version. Beautiful. Those will be sold together. And I don't, I don't like to do that, but uh, I love the rock, but I'm not going to use those. Like, I'm just not. Okay, here's a good one. I will be getting rid of my metal and that, ooh, shit, palette. I've had it forever. My damn camera cut off. I just don't use this. It's an excellent condition. It has a lookbook with it. I'll be selling that by itself. Okay. I also will be selling this one. This is the Morphe 30. Oh, I don't know. Look at that. Hmm. I was going to say I'm going to sell the Morphe 39A. But I just really got a really good look at it. Wait a minute. I know, I'm just like talking to myself and you guys don't see. The, I have greens and blues, right? I really do have a lot of greens and blues, but I don't have greens and blues that are like that tone. And then that pink, uh, no, keeping this one too. God damn it. Ooh, you're doing okay. You're doing okay, Brie, you're doing okay. You're getting rid of some stuff, but that's something. Okay, don't be so down on yourself. Okay. Okay, I am getting rid of the Carity Frost palette. Nothing wrong with that. Beautiful, actually. This, this shade right here I really like. It's really pretty. I just don't need it. I have some Sydney Gray stuff that I prefer. Then this is the Color Story Velvet Rose. I haven't even used this. So I'm getting rid of that. And then the J Cat Santa Monica. Now, I will say this. I really, really like J Cat um, eyeshadows. Like these, these 24. I think they're gorgeous. The pigmentation is unbelievable. They blend very well. They're just really, really pretty. Oh, man, I'm starting to change my mind, but I'm not going to. Um, and I like this one because it has the green lid, green crease. Cream, um, or whatever, that like champagne lid, champagne crease. So it has matching. I think that's a great concept, especially for somebody that knows what the hell they're doing. I am going to get rid of this one. That was hard because I want to keep you. Okay, and then the last couple of things that I want to go ahead and get rid of are these three. I will be getting rid of the Cover FX Glitter Drops in a bundle with the Tardius Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter in Sparkler because I'm not good at cream products and the Mana Beauty Simplified Glow Illuminator. I'm terrible at cream products, liquid products, so those will go in a bundle together. So let's kind of get a look at everything Oof. that I'm getting rid of, guys. Hold on. I'm trying to get my life together. Those over there. Okay. And this was the last one that I was trying to decide if I wanted to keep or not. This is the bomb. Sorry, guys. Real life. I have, I'm doing laundry. Um, the bomb. Do I have shades like this? Probably. Will I use this? Probably not. So, yeah, this can go. And this was in a bundle with... What was it? It was in a bundle with something. Let me think about it. Ooh, I don't remember. I think it's this one. These were in a bundle together. Okay, so let's take a look at everything that I will be selling. That's everything. There's some stuff over here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be getting rid of, guys. So, uh, thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, this afternoon, this morning, whatever time you're viewing this. Um, 
yeah, I, I have a large collection, and I know that for some people it's excessive. I don't give a shit what other people think. That's just how I live my life. Um, and, you know, I, I've always stated, like, if it, as long as it has a function in my collection, I don't care, you know? If I just pull it out to swatch it, then that's what it is for me. But some of these things like this, I'm not excited to have this, or this, or this, you know? It's, I'm not excited. Like, this I've had for years, and I've never even used it. Like, it just needs to move around, you know? It doesn't have a function, so. Um, thanks for hanging out with little old me. I appreciate you spending time with me. If you're having a rough time right now, or things are not going your way, hang on. It gets real, it gets different, it gets real fucking different, so hang on for the ride. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. Have a great day.